Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing one beauty product, so if you love to try out beauty products, then stay tuned. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. Okay, let's check out what beauty product we're looking at today. So what beauty product do I have today for you? I have an eye cream from Innisfree. It is um, their brightening and pore caring eye cream. It has Jeju Tangerine Peel Extract um, in it. Um, I've been using this for a few months. Um, now I have to be honest, I don't use it every single day, but I've used it, I think, for a long enough period of time that I can tell you what I think about it. So let's go. So let's just talk a little bit about the brand Innisfree. So they're well known for using natural ingredients um, in their products. So for this particular one, Jeju, it's um, Jeju Tangerine Peel. So Jeju is actually an island in South Korea where there are a lot of rich natural resources that a lot of their skincare products have. So this one has the Tangerine Peel. They also have things like green tea fields, um, hot springs for their hot spring water. Um, so all very natural ingredients, which is what I like about the brand. So I got this from the Innisfree store at Yorkdale Shopping Mall in Canada. It costs $41. Um, I wouldn't say it's actually really expensive or really cheap. It's kind of in the middle um, for an eye cream. Um, but I did get this um, from the actual store, so $41. Um, and the design, I just wanted to mention that it comes in a pump design. I'm not really a fan of like a pump bottle, only because I don't think the product really comes out that well. Um, especially when you get to the bottom, you know, you can't really get all the product out from here and you end up kind of wasting a little bit. And with this design, actually, you can't even pull anything out here. I tried to screw, unscrew it, I tried to pull it, but it doesn't come out. So when you're running low here, you're probably just going to waste the product. So let's talk a little bit about the smell and the ingredients in here. Um, I'm really sensitive to strong smell, so I'm not a fan of products that have really strong smell. This one is okay. It has a really faint tangerine smell, so kind of citrus orange smell, which is okay. Um, some um, products are really heavy on the fragrance um, and I can't like if I have it on my face I can't like sleep with it or anything like that, but this one is okay I can apply it just before bed and it doesn't bother me throughout the night um, Now as I mentioned before it has the tangerine peel extract tangerine peels I believe they actually extract them from farms um, on Jeju Island um, It's supposed to brighten and smooth your skin tone um, and they say that there's four times more vitamin C in a tangerine peel um, so it's supposed to really help with um, smoothing out your skin tone and um, helping out with dullness and dark spots with a vitamin with extra vitamin C in here. Unfortunately, I didn't see those effects. Um, so as I mentioned, I've been I've been using it for a while um, at night, and then I'll just apply it um, all around actually the eye area. So especially at the ends and the just under the eye, um, I'll apply it. But I did not see any brightening or. Um, any other effects that um, they said it would have. Um, I'll just read the description on the back quickly. This eye cream enriched with freshly squeezed tangerine peel extract helps the sensitive eye area look brighter and firmer. Um, but I didn't find that. Um, so for the effectiveness, effectiveness of the product, I don't think it's that effective. Um, now what I purchase this product again, I would say no, um, especially because there's so many eye creams out there. I'm more than willing to try another product um, that I may find more effective, more moisturizing. Um, this one, I'll show you a little bit of the actual cream. I'm just gonna pump some out here. So that's the consistency. It's not very, very thick. As you can see, it goes on quite easily and it absorbs quickly. So maybe you know, a couple hours after I've fallen asleep, then this will eventually just dry up and then that's it. So I don't, I don't feel like it has that moisturizing power for the entire night. Um, so yeah, um, I would definitely um, be open to trying other eye cream products. Um, so as a final rating, I would give this a 5 out of 10. I don't think it's that effective. Um, and for the price, it's not um, you know, exceptionally cheap. So it's not something I would run to and it's not um, you know, particularly um, attractive in any, in any other way. So that's my rating. That's my final rating on it. Um, give it a try if you like. I'll put the links below. And of course, if you have tried this before, please let me know your thoughts on it. I uh, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.